Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 5th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, look at volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. As I did release a small video last night, space weather update, we had those plasma filaments taking off, and there was one leaving in the last image, and it did. And it created a chain reaction, producing yet another M-class solar flare. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is cresting on the western side of our sun, multiple sunspot regions, five of them all grouped together. Having a look at outgoing here, plasma filaments dancing around the surface and as well ejecting from the north. Another closer look here at that plasma filament that ejected from the northwest region, creating that chain reaction of fiery space weather there. And look at that in the last image, another strong solar flare. Having a look at multi-spectrum, you can see coronal holes. And as well, watching in that top left side, that large and fast moving plasma filament eruption just west of that huge sunspot grouping. Another closer look at it here, as you can see the plasma dancing around. There's even some more in the northern regions be keeping an eye on those over the next few days. A little earth to scale. Look at that. Wow. Looking at our sun at another light, 171 angstroms here. And we do have five sunspot regions to talk about. And they are all grouped, cresting in, getting ready for an earth facing few days. Other than that, we're expecting the coronal hole wind stream very shortly. In the solar wind telemetry, it seems that it is just about on our doorstep. Amazing images of our sun here. And as well, here is a look at our sunspots in action, sped up. And a closer view at that big sunspot grouping. Space weather conditions do remain in a minor radio blackout impacts, minor degradation of HF radio, solar X-ray flux calming down into a C range after firing, many M-class solar flares, looks to be about eight of them in the past 48 hours now. Proton flux slightly increasing there, geomagnetic activity still very low, sitting at a KP1. Our real-time solar wind is sitting at about 334 kilometers per second. And as I said, this is the drop just before the coronal hole wind stream. So watch for that to change over the next few hours. Having a look at LASCO 3, showing the last 48 hours of events taking off from our sun to halo CMEs. So we do have a CME on its way to Earth. Highly visible here. last few images just amazing stuff that we're able to follow and see what our sun is up to and there's that propelled cme plasma filament eruption and having a look at the iswa space prediction spiral showing a large cme coronal mass ejection taking off towards venus and as well us Looks to be making an impact 8th into the 9th of May. So heads up, we will be hit by this CME. Let's have a look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours. Starting out here in Japan, as they've seen quite a few large earthquakes in the past 24 hours, starting with a 6.2 west coast of Honshu, Japan, and as well a 5.9 Mutsu, Japan, 52 kilometer depth northeast region off the coast. But a lot of activity through there. 
Philippines Plate, 4.5, 4.6 there in Guam. Papua New Guinea seeing activity as well. Indonesia, very deep earthquake, the deepest past 24 hours, 580 kilometer depth. Fiji region, activity coming back. Lavuka, Fiji, 533 kilometer depth as well, 4.4 there. And as well, Waikatane, large, 5.6. Waikatane, New Zealand, as well, a 4.7 just northeast off the coast there. Carrying on here, China, Bawangchan, 4.7 as well, 4.3 there. Bangladesh reported yesterday, quiet across the African plate and up into Europe. Quiet through the South American plate as well, only reporting the one 4.5 activity all around the erupting volcanoes through Guatemala. Looking across the U.S., largest earthquake to report was the 3.5 there in western, western Cal, uh, Colorado, as well as Grapevine, California, 3.4. Seismicity increasing through Hawaii and as well Alaska seeing a pretty sizable earthquake here. False Pass 4.6 as well at 4.0 at two station through the Aleutian Islands. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. A quick browse around the world at the last seven days as we've seen just over the past 24 hours the largest earthquakes in the past seven days. So through Japan 6.2 and as well at 5.9. Expecting something bigger than a 6.5, maybe even a 7-pointer coming up here in the next 24 to 36 hours. A little bit of help with the coronal hole wind stream from our sun. Some pressure on our magnetic field. And look at the Tonga region down into New Zealand. Our world is a shaking. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I hope you enjoy these daily updates, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Earthquakes are just a part of it. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world, as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Of course, we have Fuego Volcano, which has been erupting for quite some time, as well Nevadas de Ruas in Colombia. Many flood alerts, 240 alerts right now on this app. Sabincaya in Peru. Just trying to find the volcanoes here, folks. Popocatito in Mexico, as well as Semeru, Indonesia. Lots of wildfires breaking out through South America as well these past few days. As well, Luatolo in Indonesia and Cotopaxi in Ecuador. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 50 that are active and erupting around the world. Having a look at satellite imagery here, three large lows across the Atlantic, one finally leaving North American plate. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean and Australia. Strong system now leaving Japan as well. Lots of moisture now leaving the east coast of Australia, down in Tas to Tasmania, but watch for more rain to come. Look at the size of these systems in the southern hemisphere. New Zealand getting ready for downgraded tropical system. Having a look over Africa and Europe. Waves of moisture fueling in to Spain and through the Mediterranean. Going to keep things gray here for the next few days as spring showers are upon you guys for parts of Europe. Also wanted to share with you here the SO2 forecast. This is coming out of Guatemala from that large eruption that was posted yesterday. Fuego Volcano. So pretty sizable SO2 plume coming out of there. Not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but definitely had to show it so we can compare it to tomorrow because it may change. And also a little glance here at the rest of the world for SO2 emissions. Still quite a bit coming out of Kamchatka. Now let's get to world weather. We're going to start out here in North America. Huge high pressure ridge over the Hudson Bay will be helping fuel a lot of warm air into parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan, and then watch these lows invade the Pacific Northwest. 
bringing extreme weather across the central U the U.S. and as well northeastern regions. Low pressure system off the Atlantic coast could be bringing some snow in the long range. But let's have a look at the temperature transition here for the next few days. Still a lot of warm air being pumped up into Alberta, right up into the Yukon, Northwest Territories, and then Manitoba and Northern Ontario towards the long range forecast. So things are going to be warming up here the next little bit, which is a relief because it's been a very long gray week and wet week. Having a look over South America, stormy conditions through Paraguay this week and as well Bolivia and Buenos Aires. Heavy rains through central regions of Africa. Heavy rains through the United Kingdom and Great Britain this week. And as well through the Mediterranean, a low pressure system kind of trapped there. Overlooking the West Pacific and Southeast Asia. Windy is still forecasting a tropical cyclone heading up into the Bay of Bengal. So Bangladesh, Myanmar, you do have a cyclone on your doorstep. Looks like it'll be making landfall next Saturday into Sunday, 13th into the 14th. Stay tuned for a daily forecast. If you want to know exactly where this thing is going, you need to stay tuned to Daily Do and Daily Events Worldwide. Overlooking the rest of the world, showing you systems next up for North America, but huge high pressure ridge blockade over Hawaii, going to direct things northward into Alaska. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and a share. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.